keeps them coming. I can tell that. Hmm? Yoga time. Namaskar. Namaste. Oh. I'm summoning you for yoga practice. Namaste. Right. Yeah. Welcome to yoga. Let us all shine bright together on the yellow resonant star day. Start off with Rudra Mudra to activate our solar plexus, our power center, bring our index and ring finger together. Middle finger and pinky fingers extend straight. Lift and open the heart. Turning gaze within, connecting to the breath and to the inner light. Streak of breath of fire. 36 pumpings with the abdomen, breathing strongly through the nostrils. After the last breath, hold all the air out from the lungs and engage Maha Bandha, the three inner two locks. Take a full deep breath in. Draw belly up and in, tone and lift pelvic floor, chin to the chest. time adding in Agnisara for the quintessential fire breath. When you're holding Uddiyana Bandha with no air in the lungs, continue to pump your abdomen in and out, contracting the abdominals, pushing them out, and drawing them back in rapidly. Just like you were doing Bastrika, but with no breath. You do Bastrika first, 36 breaths, pump in with the abdomen, take a full deep breath in. Unite our hearts and invoke blessings. Three good homes, one corner mantra. Take a full deep breath in. Purnamadaya, Purnameva 
शिष्यते ओम शांति 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 presence of the divine light that pulsates within we bow you know once you go right in the center between the four girls thank you arise yoginis and eduardo time to shine bright set my attention no more raja fire heat and action for the practice you're left with sattva balance and refined energies a state of elegance draw into the center squeeze the inner thighs together belly in scoop tailbone shoulders up and back lift your heart up activate your jaggy breath lift the back of the throat with more focus breath in exhale right down to the legs releasing hands inhale stretch up celebrate the freedom of the day exhale bow forward inhale lengthen and curl exhale step back plank pose or plank the hands a little wider spread fingers wide belly up and in scooping tailbone under slow motion chaturanga dandasana inhale rise up raha bhujangasana Resting hips down, lift up out of the hips, curling shoulders back at the peak, pulling hands back, extending heart forward, and then lower down, push back, Amukha Svanasana, first dog, resonant star day, stretch it out, bend one knee at a time, lengthen through calf muscles, deepen the victorious breath. and open up the hip. On your inhale, straighten the leg. Flex your foot, squeeze leg muscles in. On the exhale, bend the knee, deepen the twist. Do it two more times like that. Inhale, straighten the leg, flexing the foot, squeezing in, full contraction. Exhale, bend the knee, you can point the foot, expand one more time. And then switch legs. In breath, straighten the leg, flexing the foot, contracting. Exhale, bend the leg, expand in. Feel the pulsation of the breath. Squeezing in on the in breath, extending out on the out breath. And then back to down dog, lean forward in the plank, push your head up. So lower down, Chaturanga, inhale, rise up, Rahabhujanga, exhale, flow back, Aramuka, Shkona, take five deep breaths, inhale, contracting, pulling hands in towards the feet, feet in towards the hands, exhale, push your hands and feet apart, creating more length, if your feet are flat, wiggle them back an inch or so, so they hover off your mat, so you've got something to strive for. Inhale, contract, drawing energy in from the periphery into the core, from the core extending out. So every exhale takes you further. Knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen, lift and spread your toes, squeeze leg muscles in and up. <coughs> exhale, bow to the heart, keeping the embrace in the legs. And then squeeze inner thighs together, root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samas deep the heat, pausing at the chakras, turn the gaze back with more. Deep breath in, exhale, root down, inhale, stretch up, exhale, down forward. <coughs> Keep it going. Inhale, lengthen and curl, exhale, step or jump, plank pose, kasa. <coughs> Jai, like the pulsation, Spanda, 
And the inhale, outer body contracts as inner body expands with deeper breaths. Exhale, inner body contracts as it squeezes air out and the outer body expands. Gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lift in. Exhale, bow. Squeeze legs together, root down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, duck forward. Keep it going with your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Think vinyasa. Ready for that? Parts of Akhanasana, side angle pose. Back foot flat. Belly in, scoop tailbone, keep your twist. Left arm reaches for the front of the room. Right knee bend deep, leaning to the right, right flat parallel. You need to create more length with the left foot back. So let's fire it up. Pretend to be both feet lift and reach. Both arms straight, reach a little straight ahead for a warrior side angle. Gauge the left side body, left rib cage down and in, lengthen out of the right hip, and then top rib cage down and in, strengthen core. Squeeze belly in, breathing from the upper torso, deepen the resonance of the breath. Deep breath in, exhale, release, step back, flow through. Side, side angle pose, foot up, back to the flat, on to the center, from the center push off the back leg, right arm reaches. Fired up, warrior side angle, push down, lift and reach. Gauge right side body, lengthen left side body, and strengthen core, top rib cage down and in, keep navel drawing in. Deep breath in, exhale, release, step back, flow through. Three work alternate hands, this fingertip, ridge top. Keep the press and down dog. Gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Midline, root down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, samasthiti. Pausing, turning back within. Breath, the inner light. So we're going to start the traditional one breath in each position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squat. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Take a vinyasa. Right foot up, Veer Bhadra, back foot flat, bending right knee deep, inhale overhead, pausing at the peak, exhale, step back, flow through. Second side, left foot up, keep it going with your breath. When you reach down dog, five deep in Jayi. Breath to the spanda, pulsation of life force energy. Hands knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow, squat, ukatasana, inhale, overhead, exhale, samasthiti. 
Surya Namaskar. Be Skandha style. Do the deep breath in. Exhale, squat and hold it. Pulling arms back, shoulders back, strengthen core, belly in. Halfway forward, Ardha Utkatasana. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, jump up or jump back. Take a vinyasa. Right leg lifts behind you. Lean forward in the plank. Triyanga. Pause. Push back strong. Right foot up. Virabhadra with the back heel up. Square up hips. Take it overhead. Five deep breaths. Pulsating with breath. Inhale, contracting. Squeezing thighs together. So pushing thigh bones apart. Hips forward and down. Don't let the hips lift on the inhale. Squeeze in with more strength from the legs. Exhale, hips go lower. Deeper. Strong breath, exhale, release, plank, in your side. Left leg lifts, plank, three on God, push back strong, step it up, back heel up. Square it off, belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead. Inhale, build strength, rooting down through the feet, squeezing the thighs in, drawing energy in from the periphery to the core. From the core, pulsate out, letting the breath take you deeper. One more strong one, exhale, release, and just. Pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. Yeah. We're conditioning. We're guided by universal fire. Thighs to the heart. Power up the legs, channeling energy up and in. Both arms to the side, sweep shoulder blades on the back. Curl on the upper back, taking elbows forward, shoulder blades curl to the heart space, side jawbone back. Keep curling, looking for the back of the room. And slowly reach arms all the way straight, lock them out, full stretch. <laughs> Bend the arms, lean forward, step up, straighten right leg, and then tilt forward, keeping your heart open, squeeze your left leg in across the midline. And warrior three pose, stay with the breath, don't hold it, keep it full and deep. You can keep the arms where they are, or reach them straight ahead, extending energy to the back of the room as you front of the room. Exhale, forward fold. Let's add hands. You can do a handstand, forearm stand, or just step back and take a vinyasa. to the heart, more topless, more universal fire, draw energy in, take arms to the side, curl on the upper back, lifting heart up, slide jawbone back, looking for the back of the rim, slowly reach arms straight, full stretch, lock it out, pushing through back heel, extending energy to the back of the rim and then move forward and down. Nice 
bend arms, re-engage back body, lean forward, straighten left leg, squeeze right leg in across the center, tilt forward, save the breath. Deep, victorious, Ujjayi. Upper Prasarita, Agapada, standing split. Hands, off don't kick to a handstand, a forearm stand. Pose round two. And then bow the heart straight, right leg, triangle pose into Trikonasana. Chandra, step up, half moon pose. Over here, keeping both legs straight, or bend the top leg for Ardha Chandra Chapa. Sugar cane, reaching for the top of the foot, fist is elbow. Both knees down, standing split. So choose your own adventure, take it up or take it back. Second side, Parsva Kon Asana. Shri Konasana, bowing forward, straight and left leg. Grip, step it up. Option of sugar cane, if you're reaching for the foot, the chopper. Bend shoulder back, head moves straight back into the shoulder blades. Second hand, 
Jones. Pick it up. Take it back. More good kick. Squeezing into the center, firing inner thighs when you reach the peak, pushing down through hands, up through heels. <laughs> Wide leg stance. Tuck it up. Good thing off to the side. Bend your knees. Arch with the hands on the floor underneath your shoulders. Marching, pushing head up. Top of the pelvis tilts down. Clasp hands behind your lower back. Squeeze inner thighs together. Shoulder blades together. Straighten legs, straighten arms, take it overhead. Two fingers, bring elbows up, squeeze shoulder blades on the back, forehead towards the floor, that's it, go wide, go deep, point your edge. Forearms. And flex your toes back to your face. Point pinky toes back. Double. Oh. Little feature for you. Optional headstand. Shoshasana 2 or Vinyasa. When you're ready, Balasana. Just do the child pose. here. Take it into puppy pose. Kind of shisha sana.
Measuring fingertip from elbow distance. Put on the wall. Taking the hands down. You're going to kick up. You can kick up. Feet to the wall. Chin to your chest like in Jaman April will do it for you if you need a visual reference. Bend, knees bent. Chin to the chest. You gaze up so the hips move back and apart. And then you draw belly in. Scoop tailbone. So you engage lower body first. And then you push your head up and you curl your upper back, scooping heart forward and down. And you can curl your toes under, push your toes into the wall. You can do that a couple times to warm up your back. Going back to the first position. And then curling into the second. That's right, that'll wake you up. Scorpion pose in the morning. Scary for expanding your lungs, your side bodies, so that you can take in more oxygen. Be energized for the day. Round two. One more time, same thing. If it's easy, do some jailhouse push ups. What's your house push ups again? You just bend your arms. Lower your down as much as you can. Yeah. Keep pushing into the wall. Yep. To the toes. Yep. Okay. And if you feel good, you can lower all the way down into Ganda Barandasana. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to do it without your hips touching the wall. So feet on the wall. There you go. That's it. And not belly in, scoop tail bump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Don't rest your hips on the wall. Then bend the knees. That's it. There you go. That's it. Now you're good. Now belly in, scoop tail bump, and then push your head up. Draw toes under. And you're there. Okay, handstand. Legs wide apart. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come in closer on this one. Come from pinky finger. And then when you kick up, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your hips to the wall, your chin to your chest, and you're going to take your legs wide apart. So watch April again if you want a visual reference. Hips to the wall, legs, legs wide apart. You know, stay there, stay there. Chin to the chest. That's it, that's it. Now hips to the wall, your hips on the wall, that's it. Now take your uh, legs away, so legs parallel, that's it, that's it. You bring your legs away and then you can hold it here or now push your head forward and you work on curling your heart forward and down until your head can push into the wall and you work on taking your hips away. Whoa! And then you hold it <laughs> with your head on the wall only and then you push your head away. So if you can't get your hips off the wall, you gotta, and you can, I mean if you can't get your head to the wall to take your hips off, then bring your hands in a little bit closer so that you can work on curling and get your head to the wall and push your head in using the strength of the neck to get your hips off the wall and just hold it with only your head pushing in the wall, your hips off the wall an inch, and your legs wide. So go closer. Okay, that's it. So general distance is thumb from pinky finger. You can do this. You did the last one. Don't give me that look of doubt. 
Trust in me. <laughs> ah, this the first few. So this one you guys need motion. Chin to chest when you bring your yes, feet yes, down yes. first. Yep, yep, yep. Then you move head toward the wall. Then you take hips off the wall. There it is! Oh. Woo! Nice. For a second. Chin to chest and chest. Oh. That's it. Down, down, down. There it is, there it is, there it is. There we go. There you go. go. Now head to the wall. Head to the wall. Push your head into the wall. Take your hips away and hold it. That's right. That's it. You got it. See? Now it's just a matter of practice. I'm not gonna bring those out. Don't throw this thorn at me. The what? The strength. strength. It's not your arms, it's not, it's something no, else. Oh, it is. It's your pinky oh, cool. toe. It's your pinky toe. What is your pinky, pinky toe? Because your pinky toe is firing your outer ah! chin. Yeah. <laughs> in the outer rotation. It's keeping energy drawing into the core. Pinky toe. So this is like this part, right? Yeah, see so your pinky toe's all crunched in. Look at your pinky toe. Yeah, we're talking. Now head to the wall. Now, now, that's it, that's it. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hips off, hips off, hips off, hips off. And then Got it. Yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Super pinky strength. Yeah. Yeah. The pinky toe. It's, like, it's the key. The nerves got flared up, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rest. Honey, I look at people's feet now because of you. I'm yeah. like, oh, he's got good skills and toes. It's so weird. Let me tell you, it's a power because it's it's really hard to if I know where you're. Yeah. All right, forearm Sam. Punch up my ass. Normal. Normal. Just, yeah, we'll straight up. Just straight up normal. <laughs> you can use the wall for balance or come off the wall. Here, work your toes. You're working balance, inner knees squeeze together, big toes squeeze together, pinky toes flex out to the side. Toes are radiant. Your feet are off the wall, an inch between your heels. So belly can you see it on again, tailbone up, and then string your big toes together. There you go, now heels apart. Heels apart. That's it, that's it. Tail, tailbone up, tailbone up, tailbone up, tailbone up. One more round in forearm stand. Scorpion or any variation you want to work towards. Can I bring my shin to the wall? Yes, of course. You can take your shins to the wall. Of course. Pose mm -hmm. without the wall. Mm -hmm. You land on bridge? What do you do? Do you, you break this? Dwipada Jafrita Dandasana, two foot inverted staff pose, technically. Which you would, you would I, have, not, I, don't even, I can't even do that pose. Yeah. I shouldn't even try so, Yeah, so if you do fall over, then you just chuck your chin to your chest 
and to just let yourself flop over and kind of separate your hands and just yeah just let yourself fall over. you're not that far to the floor it, it feels like you're really far but your feet are like you know about here so if you just fall over you know it's just a couple feet and you'll be okay but you don't want to keep your head pushing up in forearm stand definitely no and so, i don't have that pose yeah. like that you pose that you can land it like this i can't i don't yeah. I, I can't do that right well now. well uh, we can get you there i can get <laughs> That's why I'm really scared because I want to. I feel like it's a challenge. If yeah. I do it without the wall, I feel like I'll get you it because I feel safe with myself, so I keep doing it. Yeah. After Earth has done last season, yeah, yeah. But I'm afraid to fall, and then what if I like break this? Yeah, no, you won't break. You won't break anything. Yeah, you're fine. You'll be fine. Headstand. <laughs> That's right. We'll do it today. Sweet Father Vipriya Dandasana. Headstand, leg raises, seven for the resonant tone. You can use your hips on the wall if you need it, which means you have to come in closer. So, Anna, you would have to come in closer if you want to use your hips to the wall. If you're not using the wall, flex your feet and bring your legs down parallel or all the way to the floor, and then point your feet and take them back up. come in and you, you point your feet at the peak, then you would squeeze in, the tailbone in, so you don't yeah. flop over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. And then flex on the way down. Nice. You going forward? You want to do the drop over? Yeah. Sit. Um, we'll do one more headstand. You can finish off some reps, or if you want to work tripod headstand, you can do tripod headstand and do some more reps. If you want to do the drop over from headstand, is what you would want to do first. And then learn the drop over from handstand, and then learn the drop over from forearm stand. So it would be a slightly different order. But it's easiest to learn the actions from headstand because you can slow it down. When you're on handstand or forearm stand, it accelerates really fast because you're higher up off the floor. Here you're closer to the floor. I'm trying to do that. So, so hard. I am. Yeah, so when you're here, first thing is when you go up, the knees bend. Your tailbone goes up, so you protect your lower back, you squeeze here, and then you roll towards your nose. So keep curling towards your nose, and then the feet move towards the floor, and then you drop over. And then the arms push down, and then you lift your head off the floor. So if you want a spot, I'll give you a spot. Okay. No, no peer pressure. Or, or, or try to Let me see if I can go from that. You always go from Vakasana. No, you can just go, you can just set your head and set your arms and just the same way you do it headstand. Just walk your feet in and press up. Actually feels good. I got a crack out of this. <laughs> so come on. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Oh, what? That just happened. Wait okay. a second. Yeah. That never happens. Then? What? The leg? Yeah. Now step on up. Oh, you do it. Now roll forward yeah. your nose. Try and kiss the mat. Go forward. That's it. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Keep to the floor. No. No, yeah, you got it. Don't worry. You got oh, it. You got it. Relax. Boom. Oh, my God. 
Like half push down from your arms and lift your head. Oh. You see? You're there. Oh, how do I get out? Now just separate your hands. Oh. Tuck your chin. There you go. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh. I can't resist. See, I was scared. Yeah, I, don't say that. I don't know what's going to happen on the shoulder. Yeah, if anything, your hands will just separate and you just kind of flop out. And I can go you super slow and gentle like a feather going to the floor. I, can, I guess I can try and roll this <laughs> Now bend now the knees. Now tailbone up. Squeeze your butt. Good. Now roll towards your nose like you're going to kiss the floor. Keep going forward. Keep going here. You're there. Now push down through your arms. Lift your head. Look into your hands. Yeah, but he's, that's, he's tight. <laughs> now separate your hands. Separate your hands and just roll down. Just roll down. There you go. That's it. There you go. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. The, the yes, toughest part is the end. It's the way out. Yeah, like a yeah, you have to take your hands away from the head and do tripod headstand. Mm. So you, you, when you're going to fall, you move the hands you to tripod. Forearm, forearm, though. That's it. So you look like forearm. Yeah, yeah like forearm. Like you, you yeah. Your, your so the hands are here. You're not here, so you're yeah. not locked in. Because you need to keep rolling onto the forehead. Yeah, the way out. You yeah, you got to get rid of the lock of the yeah. hands. So, what do you do so when you're, when you're, you're like, after that you bend the knees, you can kind of push down and lift the head a little bit and curl like this. You want to get this. You want to be like at least here. And then here. Like that. Yeah, and then you drop over. Yeah. But to consistently put your legs up and like when you're trying to bring your legs up. Because to me, it happens sometimes and it doesn't happen sometimes. So, where is it the movement? Oh, you got it. No, no, no. You can do it every time. You yeah. just you gotta lean your hips over, you lean your hips way over the shoulders, and you just create a fulcrum, and the legs will go up. You just squeeze squeeze your legs together. So hips over the shoulders, inner thighs engage. The legs will go straight up. I got you. Don't worry. Bend the knees. <laughs> Scoop your tailbone. That's it. Now curl towards your nose. Yeah. You see how she's curling? That's a little bit too much. Now keep your head down. Head for, stand on your forehead. Stand on your forehead. Okay. That's it. That's it. And then and then go. Yeah. But you saw how she pushed down the curl. Your hands. She got, she got a good curl in the upper back, and look how deep yeah. she is. Because so look how high yeah, her head she is. Has to She's ready to start jumping back in the headstand. Go for it. Three, two, one. Take a light. Wait, hang on. In her head. Oh, I took it out. Okay. okay. So uh, you okay. almost go into like a V jump? Or not? Afterwards. Yeah. Afterwards. Like you're you're well, you're, yeah. When, initially you push down so you hover. You hover like this, but you want to keep your head down. Because you don't want your head off the floor when you drop your feet down. Because... If you're if you're not if you're not open enough you're gonna and your feet touch to and your head comes down like and goes like this and you get a bounce on your head and then your neck oh. can go like that and then you can tweak your neck and you just tweak your neck with your body weight so that's not like a good thing okay, so keep yeah the head down. so keep the head down so you can lift the head initially and curl and then take your head down drop your feet down and then push down and lift your head again looking for your feet oh, okay. Yeah. okay okay all right cool I wouldn't ever do that alone. Yeah. That's why every every single detail counts in the, yeah. in the order. Yeah. Especially when you're dealing with your head and your neck. All right, back to your desks. Oh, no, Except for you, you get it in. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You can do that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. No more being lazy. <laughs> That's right. No more being lazy. <laughs> 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 and you think you have to squeeze something, but it, you really your legs will go up. That's right. Twisting, thigh stretch. Yeah, release your foot. Heel lift. 
down and in, lift your knee up, and then take your right arm underneath the leg and work on pulling your head in towards the foot. Right arm under, left hand holds the top of the ankle. And then pull yourself in. Back to resist, pull it in. Knee lifts, back foot flat, heel down and in. Pull yourself in. Friend of the universe, if you're working Vishwa Mitra, or take it into Kundinya, Parvati Sparky. Padaraja, Kapotasana, Pigeon. <laughs> yeah, what? Left leg slides in and back. Twist and curl, square it off. You can work another quad stretch. Or play reg with mermaid. Full king pigeon. Vinyasa, or step back and switch legs.
Crouch asana, Katanga sitting. Left leg straight, or you can bring your left leg back and Ardha Vira. If you tilt off to the side and you're an Ardha Vira, then support the outer edge of your right hip with a towel or a wedge or a strap or something. No need to bring the leg back. You can have left leg straight, take your right leg up. Strapping the foot or grabbing the foot, and then resist. Kick towards the floor, pushing your thigh bone away down into the hamstrings, and then keeping your quads engaged. Bend your arms, pull your leg down, arms down, lifting hard up. Left hand across. Part Brita or elbow across, palm face up. Right hand reaches back or reaching overhead, holding big toe. Right, that's right. You got it, John. Okay. That's right. Believe. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Now duck your head underneath the arm. Twist, bend the leg, bring it high up onto the arm and the shoulder. Work on bringing foot to the head. Maybe behind your head for Akapata Shirshasana. Ashtabhakrasana, both hands to the floor, cross your left ankle on top of the right foot, fire your right leg, right thigh fires up out to the side, again both hands down or visama, having left forearm down, <laughs> bring this leg over your arm, there you go, now left foot on top, there you go. <laughs> you always say that. Second uh, side. It's a good owl. <laughs> <laughs> Left leg up. Resisting. Keep it straight and strong. And then slowly bring it closer. Take your right hand across or elbow across. Take your palm face in, cupping heel or outer edge of the foot. Left hand over head, holding inner edge, pulling down your leg, grounding your hip. No, it's just a twist one. Twist. Twist. Inhale on twist, work it, bend the leg, get it up there. Put your arm in there, put your head up. There you go. There. Balance, eight limbs, crooked sage pose. Right 
shoulder lifting, aligned with top of the elbow, heart descending towards the floor, and then optional kundinya transition. Mm. Where's the heart? Get that leg out of there. Oh, <laughs> worldwide. Making it happen. <laughs> it gets stuck. No, well, you made it. Legs <laughs> wider from this side. Seated one angle. Clear sitting bones and hamstrings. And activate the legs, arching up and pull forward. Power twist over right leg. Side, go a little wider, mm -hmm. a little deeper. Back up, pivot forward for double arm hero pose, Dweebu de Vera. Palms face up, put one elbow in, other elbow in, release jaw, slowly squeeze in. Hands back, arch up, right hand to jaw, stretch out front of the neck. Nada. Let the backs of the legs lift up. Thumbs parallel. Straight up. Toes flex, pulling back towards the face. Quads engaged, pushing out your heels. Your heels back, your mother heels by degrees? It can be like that. But you gotta do it with a smile, you can't <laughs> frown and do it. You're halfway down, Arda Nava. <laughs> back up, Porna Nava. Releasing palate, smiling on the inside. Arda, halfway, point feet. Rest. Oh, oh. Oh. You can do another one later. Melina <laughs> oh. was disappointed, everybody else was happy. <laughs> Good. She thinks she's on a surfboard. Oh. <laughs> you guys made me laugh too much, I thought. Satipanda, Sharvanga, the tips up. Go for the clasp, have palms face up.
sin. This way, down there. This is our head. This is our ears. So, get our stuff. Stop with the head in. Pause. And take the lens wider. Bring it towards the back of the room. Take it all the way up. for round two. Back up. Do some back bend push-ups or alternate leg lifting. Go round three. One more. <laughs> I'm gonna talk you through this one nice and slow. Okay. Hands overhead beside the ears. Lift your hips up, chest up, top of the head, and don't go anywhere. Stay right there on the top of the head. Boom. When you're on the top of the head, lift your heels up and then slide your head towards your feet. Straighten don't your arms. Your yeah, yeah. You can straighten the arms and just slide your head towards your feet. That's it. And then slide your hands in a little bit more. Lift your head up. Slide it in a little bit further. Head on the floor, Karina. Head on the floor. Slide it in. Slide it in. That's it. That's it. Keep curling with your head down. And then go all the way up into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Oh, who bailed? I went too far. There you go. Anna's still there. Now, Anna, take your head back down towards your feet. That's it. Head all the way towards the feet. You're there. There you go. Bend your arms and lower down, lower down, lower down. Now clasp hands behind your head. What? Clasp hands behind the head. Well, no. Yeah, yes, yes. You always say no to me. Look, and she's doing it. Look. Nice. I know. She's like, she's like, I'll break it if I do that. <laughs> Push your arms up. You see, look at that. You're ready to jump all the way over. What? Why do you have to have your feet up? Can you hold them down? Hello. Well, no, because no, because you need the you need the forward extension of your hips. If your heels are down, your hips are, are, are down. You can't get as much forward extension. You can go up and take your heels down, and then lower your head down if your heels down. But initially, you gotta lift your heels up. Well, yeah, like once you go down into it, you can lower. Your... Let me push those wrists down. Okay. There we go. There we go. No, you're good. You're good, Francis. Three breaths. Three, two, one. Good. See, nothing broke. Nothing went flying across the room. So now when you're there, then you can start taking light hops like Melina's going to do. Like you're going to jump up and over through a headstand or through a forearm stand. That's it. Good job. Go. Oh, I'm sleeping while yeah. I'm okay. sleeping. Yeah. Okay. But that, you got your head is off the yeah. legs on the floor. So you're very and you're no, no, no. Then at that point, your head will be off. Uh, your head up, you jump over. Here. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You could do that easy. <sighs> no, my shoulders well worn. Oh, yeah. It took me only like 50 privates with a nun. That's all. <laughs> 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 That's all that took. And you like a three-day massage, and then like okay, two years. I think it's shavasana time. <laughs> Shoulder stand. <laughs> Make us work hard today. Got to teach you the level of the group. Yes. Come on. No. There's 
best been in here doing yoga for a while. <laughs> Back in the flow. Your pressure in your ears. So we have normal fish pose, Moxi Asana. Optional lift, you time to fight asana. Supta Padagusasana, left leg down, right leg up, cross through line hamstrings. Fist, arching, building strength, and keeping it straight and strong, slowly bring it closer to the chest. If you're resisting first, push your thigh bone away. Keep it resisting with 10% of your strength as you slowly bring it closer to the chest. Baby pose, reaching through the feet. Knees down, if you're going further, feet to the head or behind the head.
Shabbat Shalom. Anybody else want something from the cafe?
Beautiful stuff. Help the singing, meditation, posture. Stone, universal prayer. Deep breath in. Welcome, great practice, everybody. 